Assalamu alaikum, my dear brothers and sisters. Today's topic is, Women in Islam. Unfortunately, there are many misconceptions and stereotypes about women in Islam. In this video, we will explore the status and rights of women in Islam, and how Islam empowers women to play a vital role in society. Islam is a religion that emphasizes gender equality and recognizes the important roles that both men and women play in society. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was a strong advocate for women's rights and worked tirelessly to ensure that women were treated with dignity and respect. The Quran states that men and women are equal in the sight of Allah, and both genders are entitled to respect, dignity, and justice. One of the primary roles of women in Islam is that of motherhood. The Quran recognizes the vital role that mothers play in society and encourages men to treat their mothers with kindness and respect. Mothers are considered the cornerstone of the family and play a significant role in shaping the lives of their children. In addition to their roles as mothers, women in Islam can also be wives, daughters, sisters, educators, scholars, healthcare providers, businesswomen, and even leaders. The Quran recognizes the importance of women's contributions to society and encourages both men and women to seek knowledge and pursue education. In Islam, women have been given many rights that were not granted to them in other societies during the time of the Prophet. These rights include the right to own property, the right to inherit from their family, and the right to conduct business. The Prophet's wife, Khadijah, was a successful businesswoman who was known for her intelligence, wisdom, and compassion. She was a wealthy merchant who employed the Prophet and recognized his prophethood before anyone else. Khadijah's success in business and her unwavering support for the Prophet serves as an inspiration for Muslim women today, reminding them of their potential and the many opportunities available to them. Aisha, one of the Prophet's wives, was also a remarkable woman who contributed significantly to Islamic scholarship. She was known for her intelligence, her knowledge of hadith, and her role as a teacher to both men and women. Her contributions to Islamic scholarship have had a lasting impact on the religion, and she continues to be a role model for Muslim women who seek knowledge and education. The recognition of women's rights in Islam is not limited to historical figures like Khadijah and Aisha. Rather, it is a fundamental aspect of the faith that has been emphasized by Islamic scholars throughout history. Islam recognizes that men and women are equal in the sight of Allah and that both genders have a responsibility to contribute to society and promote justice. In addition to the right to own property and conduct business, Islam also emphasizes the importance of education for both men and women. The Prophet himself encouraged both men and women to seek knowledge and pursue education, stating that, seeking knowledge is obligatory upon every Muslim. Throughout Islamic history, women have played significant roles in promoting education, scholarship, and social justice. Muslim women have made important contributions to fields such as medicine, science, and the arts, and have been leaders in their communities. Another common misconception about women in Islam is that they are forced to wear the hijab. However, the hijab is not a symbol of oppression but a sign of modesty and dignity. It is a choice that Muslim women make for themselves and not one that is imposed upon them. In Islam, women are encouraged to seek knowledge and pursue education to better themselves and their communities. The Prophet Muhammad himself emphasized the importance of education for both men and women and encouraged his followers to seek knowledge from cradle to grave. Throughout Islamic history, women have made significant contributions to various fields, including Islamic scholarship, science, and the arts. For example, Fatima al-Firi, a Muslim woman from Tunisia, founded the world's first university, the University of al qar al yin in the 9th century. Women have also played a crucial role in the development of Islamic scholarship, with many women scholars and teachers making significant contributions to Islamic thought and theology. One notable example is Rabia al adawiya a Sufi mystic and poet who is widely regarded as one of the most important figures in Islamic spirituality. In modern times, Muslim women continue to pursue education and contribute to various fields, including science, technology, engineering, and mathematics (STEM). For example, Nergis Mavilvala, a Pakistani-American astrophysicist, made significant contributions to the discovery of gravitational waves. Islam recognizes the importance of women's talents and skills and encourages them to use their abilities to benefit themselves and their communities. By empowering women to pursue education and follow their passions, Islam promotes gender equality and contributes to the development of a just and equitable society. 
It is also important to note that Islam prohibits the mistreatment and abuse of women. The Quran teaches that men and women should treat each other with kindness, compassion, and respect. Violence against women is a grave sin in Islam, and the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, himself was known for his kindness and compassion towards women. In conclusion, Islam recognizes the importance of gender equality and the significant role that women play in society. The rights and status of women in Islam are often misunderstood, but the reality is that Islam empowers women and provides them with the tools to be successful in all areas of life. Women in Islam are mothers, scholars, entrepreneurs, and leaders. As Muslims, it is our duty to educate ourselves and others about the true status of women in Islam and work towards a more just and equitable society for all. Thank you for watching.